Hey, how you doing world? Uh, this video is about how to replace this uh, three position switch uh, for the windows and door locks. It's a 1999 Dodge Ram Cummins Turbo Diesel. Uh, this video is probably good for 98 to two, 98, 1998 and a half, 2002, or uh, basically anybody I guess that has a three position switch on this left door. Um, this is the part number, the standard part number. Um, they're about 63 bucks or something in O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Uh, you can get them on the internet for... Well, the factory one lasted from 1999 to 2008. Then I got this one from the dealer. Um, and it lasted till 2019. And uh, so that's 11 years, and the first one lasted uh, nine, eight or nine years, nine years. So that's what they're lasting. <coughs> uh, obviously, they get used every day. So uh, it's funny that the passenger side one broke, though. That's weird. Anyways, okay. Uh, you do not need to remove the door panel or this cup. Um, this, this piece comes out uh, just by putting a screwdriver under here. And what it has is it has clips, spring clips. So that's a spring clip there. And the other spring clip was on the end here um, but I think it fell out. Yeah, it fell out while I was. I take it when I took it out, and what it does is it falls out and drops into your uh, into your door storage. Okay, that goes in there like that when they fall out. Okay, this I do need to replace because when the switch falls in through the hole. Uh, this is a 1999 truck. This is 2019, so that's 20 years old. Um, it 20 years, I guess, the plastic. These trucks aren't known for having good plastic. This is the place where the switch clips into. These two little indents right here, that indent and that indent, is where the new switch goes in. Uh, it's not going to stay in. So I need to put a little bit of silicone. I'm going to put... When I put this new switch in, see it'll go in, in the front, there's a little hole, there's a divot um, uh, right here, that front divot right there is for the front part of this switch, okay the front part of that switch will go into there, then the back is supposed to snap into right there, see that little, those little nubby, that little nubby right there in the center of the screen? And that one in the center of the screen now. Those two little nubbies. So this is supposed to go in like this. Let me see. This is supposed to go in. Okay, so that goes in like that. And that's supposed to go in like that. Okay. So it's supposed to go go in like that, but it's supposed to clip into those back things that are broken. So I've got to get a new basil from the dealer. That's going to be a dealer item or a used part off of eBay. Um, but if I go with the used part off of eBay, it's going to be 20 years old or who knows how old. So I'd like to get a new dealer part because then hopefully I've got a won't break again for 20 years so this is supposed to snap right into like that this part is a little tight a little tighter than I like um, but does have the uh, the on and auto double position there on auto and the open I'm not really liking this part it feels a little funky um, but, uh, we'll see how it goes. 
but so I'm gonna have to put a little silicone I'm gonna do silicone on the side here on one side um, and the other side a little bit so I can cut the silicone um, when I when I get the new basil piece um, you don't want to put the sil uh, if you wanted it to never come out you'd put the silicone well I guess kind of on the inside I'm thinking if there's a part that slides inside you'd put it inside but anyways it should work um, so a little silicone along this edge GE silicone 2 is what I use because it does harden up hard you don't want to use the silicone that just goes soft because it'll just fall out again so I'm gonna use the, the use the GE silicone to clear that's the hardest uh, stuff um, and uh, put a little dab there that way you can just take a razor knife and cut the silicone and you know uh, to to reuse your switch um, so but I'm just going to take out this cup just to show you that you can take out the cup, but over the years, these things have, I don't know how to get these things out. But, uh, if anybody knows how to, all these things are broken off, all the tabs, every single freaking one of them. Got to get a new panel. Hopefully I can get a new one of these panels from the dealer. Um, but every one of these nubbies is broken off. Um... I don't know if they even come out when they're, maybe they, maybe you have to take the door, maybe somebody can let me know if you have to take the door panel off, it's supposed to get this off. So if anybody's in the car business and they have uh, car trim, you know, business. So anyways, but I just want to show you, uh, this is the switch inside the door. Um, this was brand new. 4-3-2008. Okay, I got this switch from the dealer, like I said, in 2008. And this should come out, looks like a push down. I don't know how. I'll have to see how that gets, comes out. Um, I can't do this. Let me see if I can do it. Put my phone up here and see if I can do this. See if this it just pulls out. Here. okay so yeah this you push down it's hard to push down though uh, really hard to push down so yeah so not that bad not but as you can see it moves pretty good and yeah that just uh, so you have to push it down enough to get over that nub that's a pretty good size nub so, uh, yeah, you're going to have to push it pretty good. That's what I did. So, anyways. But, um, okay, so that's that. The old switch out. i got to get some silicone. Actually, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to do, the, I'm going to silicone the switch tonight and let it harden up uh, before I put it back in the truck. We'll uh, hold the video here, and I'll get back to you after I get done siliconing. Okay, guys. Uh, a quick note, also. Um, test your switch. Put it in like this uh, before you go and stick it in the basil. Um, I just tested mine. Windows work fine, but the top switch is bum. As you can see, it locks. But if you go up, sometimes it doesn't unlock the window, the, the doors. So, like, see? Doesn't work. Yep, so brand new, brand new piece of crap from China. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I wasn't liking how that standard switch was. I just think this, this is a Friday switch not uh not good um they usually make good parts but i got a feeling this one been around for a while or something or just i didn't get a good feeling from it before and now i know why 
it's bum. So anyways, got to call and order a new one. So I'm just going to have it. I'm going to use it, but I'm just hanging out the door for right now before I go in. Because you don't want to go in and out of this hole too much. It is plastic, though, just so you know. And FYI, this, uh, this, is, this is upholstered over a piece of hard plastic. So the plastic feels like it's about, I don't know if I can get this on camera. Uh, there you go. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this on camera. It's a good stout piece of plastic. Feels like it's a. Looks like it's about an eighth of an inch thick. Um, it's pretty hard though, but it's got a little groove. Yeah, where that um, that little thing, that clippy's been biting into, so it does have a little groove in there. Um, so, yeah, how you would put it back in is you'd put it in nose first and then or maybe just push it in well you'd have to go in tail first with this with the whole switch assembly thing and then uh push it in like that because you got to get through the wires in there so but anyhow at least i can get my windows and doors and stuff working for right now anyways thanks for watching okay let's see if the 409 will remove the scud <laughs> Okay, should be able to see what I'm trying to get rid of. It's just, it's not terrible. It's just your basic wear and tear. Night, so it dries overnight, and I can put it back in the truck in the morning. So, let's do this. Okay, so I cleaned the switch up with an old sponge. You know, with the green and green and yellow sponges with the little rough stuff on them. I just, it's kind of worn out sponge, so. Uh, hopefully it didn't scratch it up too bad, um, but I think it came out decent. Um, I think it came out good. Did a double treatment on it. Hosed it down with the 409 front and back. Uh, toothbrush the back with an old toothbrush. I'm going to hair dryer it off with a hair dryer. Get all the moisture out of it. Um, then put the switch in and silicone like little back and side parts just not just enough so I could cut the silicone if I ever needed to um, on the sides of it I don't want to like put silicone in there and like smash it in so I can't ever get it out again just in case I can't I try and get a new one of these bezels but I need need my windows to work and I need to put it back together so and these I suggest putting a little bit of Vaseline on these little bendy things that push back into the truck into the plastic part on the truck because they're really stiff just the tiniest bit of uh, lubrication on here uh, Vaseline or grease or pipe dope whichever you have um, something with a little bit of body to it something a little slippier than uh, WD-40 with a little bit of body to it so it can you know slip in that part to go in and out so it puts a you understand what I'm saying anyways so let me hair dryer this thing off and get the silicone in okay it's done so uh, um, all right uh, so it's all in it's about 11 o'clock at night so I'm gonna leave it overnight and uh, it's Saturday night we'll leave it till 11 o'clock Sunday morning and uh, give it 12 hours and uh, hopefully 12 hours should be enough on the silicone to give it hard enough to where I can put it back in the truck Put a little, just put a little, little dab on each on this side, a couple places because it's kind of different on this side of the switch, and uh, it was a good long spot on this side to do right there. So just on the back, the front catches just fine. It's got uh, the little the nubby goes right in there, so that front part's okay. For now that I can see, 
um, all the stress is on the back side because when you're pushing all the time for the window to auto you know auto down this is the one that you're using the most uh, your driver's side one so pushes the bottom Dodge is known for junk plastic anyhow and this year truck all the plastic is sub subpar to say the least dashboards cracking anybody has got a Dodge knows about that absolute piece of junk dashboards but anyways I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna leave this be let it set up and okay I just wanted to show you what silicone I'm using it's GE silicone 2 uh, this should be uh, this is, okay yeah silicone 2 clear is the strongest the ones with pigment pigment the black and the whites uh, are not as strong the clear without having pigment in it is much stronger it's it's more of a it's a it's a rubber you know uh, the pigments actually make it so the it's not so rubbery it's still rubbery but it has it breaks up it just the clear is the strongest it's the best it's like a rubber tire anyway okay world um, this is the switch all repaired um, the, actually the new switch installed into the old original uh, basil and the back of the old basil was broken as you can see right there where the little little tit and the little tit on the right side there notch kind of thingy I'll see if I can anyways the little little tabby sticking out there um, they're supposed to hold and you could, there's supposed to be a thing across the top of them but that broke off because it's been 20 years and the plastic is bad from uh, Dodge so they got bad reputation for plastic anyways so what I did was I put a uh, silicone um, and it's all dry and it's all rubbery and should hopefully be good if I put a little bit there and I just gotta let it dry for 24 hours I let it dry for a little longer than that just use my old switch dry on the floor or somewhere um, so anyways but what I did is I put some Vaseline on the little tabby and the little tabby um, so I can uh, slide it in the hole because the hole here has plastic I don't know if you can see but uh, let me see if I can let me see if I can get a little picture yeah there's the okay there's the, the plastic is below it so um, yeah so plastic is below it there there's kind of a picture of the hard plastic so it just want you want it to slide over that real easy so um, yeah so I'm gonna put it in hopefully it goes in okay let me do that let me see if I can do it on camera I'll try I don't think I can um, let me see if I can position my phone on the steering wheel right here maybe kind of sort of okay kind of working uh, okay the little uh, the little thing goes in there it goes in like that a little kind of a snap but not a not a click from here but just kind of a, a snap okay I'm gonna put it in probably gonna put it in yeah I gotta put it in butt end first yep. um, and then it should be able to push it down directly hopefully Well, it didn't go quite as planned. Let's see what's going on here. Um, okay, I just have to just have to push it. There we go. So it's just uh, put it in, you know, butt end first, top in, then level, and then uh, push it down and. Uh, 
snapped in nice. Had a couple nice snaps. I hope you guys heard it. Hope I got it on video. I tried. So, uh, alright. Click like on the video if you could and subscribe. Alright, uh, actually, let's see if... Well, I don't have the... There we go. So, windows are working there. Let me turn the ignition on. Okay, we got left window. And right window. Okay. Good to go. I got a little bit of Vaseline on my fingers, but I'll wipe that off with a rag and should be good to go. All right. Hopefully, uh, you yeah, know, we got little green lights. We got, got my little green lights on there when the key's on. I think that those lights come on. Yeah, when you turn the key on, little green lighties come on. Okay. All working. All right. Click like on the video uh, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.